welcome to Return to God Forum with Dr. Dan Sinu Bebe, where scripture with the help of the Holy Spirit are being unveiled. Wow, what you don't know about grace, something new has been unveiled. Would you like to know how and what Holy Bible interpreted grace of God to be? How does God reveal His grace? It is through the Word and His Spirit, so it's by revelation knowledge of the truth. Truthful call to all who believe or might one day believe in Jesus Christ. The appeal is to everyone, theologians, Bible scholars, ministers of gospel of Jesus, and all Christians. Advent of grace, salvation begun in the Spirit by grace through faith, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. We are now being made perfect in the Spirit by grace through faith and not by the flesh through unmerited favor. Galatians chapter 3 verse 3. Why grace is not unmerited favor? Before grace came, sin separated man from God. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2. Soul merited only death. Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. It was echoed later by God. In Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 1 to 4, on earth, it was symbolized by the veil of temple, which separated the people from the ark in the holy of holies. Exodus chapter 26 verse 33, therefore every gift of God is unmerited, be it, favor, mercy, tongue and lastly grace. Romans chapter 6 verse 23, so it is wrong to single out grace as unmerited favor. Following is biblical revelation of meaning of grace, grace, and truth, came through Jesus Christ. John chapter 1 verse 17, upon the death of Jesus on the cross, the veil was torn from top to bottom. Matthew chapter 27 verse 51, it signaled removal of barrier of sin between God and man. So God who commanded light to shine out of darkness shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6, it opened floodgate for the Spirit to extend divine gifts to man. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 to 4, in particular, the Spirit of glory and of God could rest upon man. So if man is reproached for the sake of Jesus' name or righteousness, he is blessed because the Spirit of glory and of God rest upon him. The inspiration of the Spirit would make him to endure reproach and not seek to avenge it. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 12 to 14. The prying of the Spirit is in accordance with the assurance which God gave to Apostle Paul, that his grace was sufficient for him when he was plagued with thorn in his flesh. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9. By the way, the natural mind cannot perceive of the things of the Spirit, but with the Spirit of God we can appreciate the grace of God. So judging by God's assurance to Paul, grace is the effect of the Spirit of glory and of God upon man. How does grace relate to Jesus Christ? Recall Jesus is God. John chapter 1 verse 1. He is also the brightness of the glory of God. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 3. Thus the Spirit of glory and of God is the Spirit of Christ Jesus who reigns in heaven. It reveals grace, which is the effect of the Spirit of glory and of God upon man, as the intercession by Christ Jesus for the saints. The revelation changes narrative of grace's unmerited gift, to reign of Jesus Christ in you. Also it will make saints to desire to live like Jesus in step with scripture. Only truth shall make us free. Know that you may be the only Bible some people will ever read. Doomed Christianity and Unshakable Lifeline, a book with the help of the Holy Spirit, gives you the true interpretation of the scripture regarding some topics. Contrary to general belief, that grace is unmerited favor. No, this is a wrong definition that cannot be found in the scripture. Grace is not unmerited favor. But then, what is grace? This and other topics like born again, righteousness, etc. are dealt with in this book, Doomed Christianity and Unshakable Lifeline, by Dr. Dan Sanhu Bay Bay. 
the author of other award-winning books like, Return to God, The Choice is Yours, Vision of Righteousness of God, and a lot more. Get your copy on Amazon. You can also visit our website, and follow us on our social media.